Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I am back with another math video for you guys and today we are still focusing on chapter three. We know that in chapter three we are looking at multiplication and making sure that we understand what multiplication is. So we've already learned that multiplication truly is just repeated addition. You are adding the same number to itself over and over and over again. And throughout this chapter we're going to remind ourselves of that and we're also going to look at different strategies that we can use to help us multiply when we are given two different factors. We've learned that factors are the numbers that are being multiplied and we've also learned that products are the answers to multiplication problems. In addition, when we have a multiplication problem such as two times three, we know that the first factor represents how many equal groups we are dealing with and the second factor tells us how many things, items, whatever they may be, are in those equal groups. So today the strategy that we're going to focus on, we're going to continue to focus on understanding our factors and what each factor represents, and then we're going to learn how can you multiply using a number line. How can you skip count using a number line when you're multiplying two factors? So I'm going to give you guys some examples and then I'll come back at the very end and kind of close the video up and we will be done for today. So I will see you in just a second. All right, here we have our first example. We are multiplying three times six. So we wanna make sure that we understand that what I'm showing you guys today is just an additional tool to help you multiply. In this type of strategy, what we're doing is skip counting and then we're gonna figure out how many we have in all by looking at how many times we skip count it using the number of jumps that we took. So the first thing I wanna make sure that we understand is when I'm looking at my problem, in this case, three times six, I want to know that the first number that I've put a box around is telling me in this strategy how many jumps am I going to be making on this number line. The second strategy, which is circled and is the factor 6, is telling me within each jump how many steps will I take. So once I have that figured out, it becomes pretty simple and at the very end, once I've made sure I've made three jumps and that I've included six steps in each jump, I'm going to figure out, well then how many jumps in all was that? And that's going to give me the product to three times six. So let's get started. So I'm going to make my first jump and I know in each jump I need to have six steps. So I'm going to count starting at the number zero and then I'm going to go to six. So zero, that's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what I like to do is I like to put a little dot here to tell myself that is going to be the end of that jump. And then I'm going to draw my line right, let me do a little bit better job. I'm going to draw my line right there. Okay, that's jump number one. Then I'm going to count six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's at 12. Put my dot there so that I know that is the end of my second jump. And I'm going to draw it all the way there. And then I'm going to count another six. This is going to be my third jump. This is jump number one. Jump number two, I need one more jump because it tells me I need three jumps and I need to make sure there are six steps in that jump. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That places me at 18. I'm gonna put a little mark there and then I'm gonna make sure to draw my line there. So I've made my three jumps. So how do I look at that and say, okay, I made three jumps. I made sure there were six steps in each of those jumps, but what is my product? What is the product to three times six? Well, that should be simple. You can do a couple of things. You can count all the little steps that you took in all three of those jumps combined. Or you can say, well, where did I end up? I ended up at the number 18 on my third and final jump. So that tells me the product of three times six is going to be 18. Or if I want it to, if it makes you feel more comfortable in the very beginning, you can count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, until you get to the very end of that jump. So that's the first example. It's pretty simple, right? So I'm going to show you one more just to make sure that we understand what we're doing. second example and the first thing that you should notice about this example is that it is written out or presented to you in a different way. Instead of having two factors with the multiplication sign in between, you have the statement that we are going to be creating three groups of eight. 
that can also be thought of I need three equal groups and in each of those three groups I need eight or three times eight so if you're presented with a problem that looks like this all that means is you have to tell yourself okay I need to make three jumps on the number line and in each of those jumps I need to make sure that I take eight steps and that's just like the example I just showed you it's just presented to you in a different way so we certainly know that we can do it so I'm gonna start with my first jump starting at zero and I'm gonna go to eight zero one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna put a little mark there so I know that's where I'm gonna land on my first jump done now I'm doing my second jump my second jump out of three one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna mark the 16 because that's where I stopped I'm gonna draw it there and I've completed two out of three jumps I need to do another one because I need three groups of eight so one two three four five six seven eight mark there draw my line to represent the jump and then I end up at 24 so again I have to say all right I did three jumps I made sure I had eight steps in each of my jumps but how do I express that as a product what does that tell me in terms of the of the product of three times eight well since I know I landed on the 24 after my third jump that tells me that the product of three times eight or if I have three groups of eight I know that in total I will have 24 so that is the second example and that is the second way that you guys might see that whether it be on a homework assignment or a quiz or a test so those are the two examples I have for you guys today I'm going to flip my camera back around close the lesson now and then we will be all set see you in a second Alright, so those were your examples for multiplying using a number line. Just a couple of reminders to remember as you're working on your homework tonight or studying for a quiz or just watching this video for fun is that when we are looking at the strategy of using a number line to multiply, the first factor is going to tell us how many jumps are we going to be making on that number line and the second factor is going to tell us within that jump how many spots are we moving to complete a jump. So if you can remember those things and make sure that you understand your first factor from your second factor, then you should be good to go. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope those examples were helpful. As always, if this video in general was helpful to you or your parents or your friends or whoever you may be or whoever may be watching this, please give this video a thumbs up to keep me encouraged and I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. So I will talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.